sales can be landmines or they can be gold mines. Today I'm sharing my six strategies for shopping a big sale. This is Netta Manley, welcome to my channel. I help women over 40 have fun with fashion and feel confident in their style. So I don't know if you've heard the buzz, but there is a huge sale going on right now. It starts today, I think it's, today it's open to card members, uh, August 13th, and then um, I think on August 19th it opens to the public, but I'll make sure I get those dates uh, correct in the description box below, but everybody's buzzing about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And so I wanted to offer some strategies about shopping any big sale because there is a strategy and there is a science to, to doing well at a sale and not having shoppers remorse afterwards, but also not having FOMO afterwards. FOMO is fear of missing out in case you guys don't know if you don't have teenagers at home, but yeah, you don't want FOMO and you don't want shopper's remorse after a sale, right? So how do you shop a sale successfully and smartly, intelligently, and, um, and get, what, get what you want and get some great deals and, um, and have no regrets later? So let's talk about it. Okay, the first thing is my strategy for shopping a sale is to always be focused but flexible. So what I mean by this is when you go into any sale or any sale situation, whether you're looking at the clearance section on your favorite website, or whether you're walking into a physical sale with your mask on, or whether you're you know shopping Nordstrom, you know Nordstrom um, online for their big anniversary sale, whatever sale you're shopping, you want to start with a list, and it needs to be really specific. So. For example, this summer on my on my summer shopping list, I knew I needed a pair of white dressy shorts. I knew I needed a pair of new white jeans. I knew I wanted to update a couple of my basics, so I wanted a black button-down um, silky top. So you go in with three to five is a good number to have. If it needs to be more, it needs to be more, but three to five is a good number to have of items on your list that you go in and you are specifically looking for because it can be very overwhelming to shop a sale and it can be very time consuming. And you go through page after page after page of temptation and you see these prices and you're like, but what if I don't buy it? So I'm gonna to get to that in a minute, but what if I don't buy it now? Like, so you really need to be focused. So the first thing you do when you go into the sale is to filter, use all of the filters that you need to get as close to what you're searching for as possible. So for example, with white dressy shorts, I would go into obviously women clothing, all of that. Then I'd go into the shorts, I'd go into, you know, I, I would filter by price, I would filter by my size, maybe some brands, I typically won't filter by brands unless I'm looking for something specific because um, who knows what brands you'll discover or that are out there that you might be limiting yourself a little bit but if you're worried about size and you know your size in a specific brand or if you're looking for something in a specific brand obviously you'll want to use that filter but as many filters as you can get where you have a good selection but you're not so focused that you know two items come back so use your filters be specific, shop your list first. So shop, always shop your list first. Then after you've gotten your, your, your list things in your shopping cart or at least on your wish list, because until the sale opens up to whatever level you're at, you won't be able to buy them, but you can add them to the wish list, which is one of my other um, uh, tricks is to add it to the wish list so that you can go in and shop the items again. Um, really quickly when they come on um, sale and, and when it opens up for you and you can buy the items quickly. So shop the list, stay focused, but then after you've shopped your list, give yourself permission to filter a few fun things. Like look look at some brands that you've always wanted to, to buy. Look at some things that are maybe not on your first list, but maybe on list two or three. Maybe you want a pretty dress for a wedding coming up. If, if you've got events coming up, maybe you want to look for things for Christmas. Maybe you want to whatever, you know, look, look for something for fall that you've always wanted. So give yourself permission to be focused, but flexible. That was my first tip. Okay, the second one is to stock up on essentials. Um, it's really easy to get 
shiny object syndrome. You know how I feel about shiny object syndrome. I'm, I'm prone to it, everyone's prone to it. During a sale, it can be very easy to be tempted to um, go for the shiny and fun and new and trendy. But one of the best strategies for shopping a sale is to really buy those workhorse pieces of your wardrobe and the best quality that you can when they're on sale. So you wanna look at jeans, you wanna look at silk blouses or button down blouses. You want to look at tees, you want to look at cardigans and jackets and the pieces that you're just going to get the most mileage out of because you'll be able to get those pieces at better quality and a price that really suits your budget. So stock up on essentials when they're on sale. It's the best way to get the best quality at a price that you can afford. So you can level up in the brands that you're wearing or the quality that you're wearing without breaking the bank, right? Okay, so number three is splurge if you can. So a great sale is an opportunity to buy luxury items that you may not have been able to work into your budget before. I know everybody's very budget conscious these days and I think we should be budget conscious. You know, the world is a little bit nutty right now. So, but if you've always had your eye like on a leather jacket or a cashmere sweater or a great pair of amazing jeans from a designer that you that is normally out of your price range, this is a time to check on those items and see if the sale has made them a little bit more affordable for you. Maybe you decide that you're going to buy one item and it's gonna be amazing. Maybe you're gonna finally decide to buy that leather jacket or that cashmere sweater or that beautiful pair of dress pants or um, a great pair of boots from a brand that's typically out of your price range and um, invest in it, buy it this season or buy it now when it's on an amazing sale and, um, and you'll have it for years to come. Okay, so stock up on essentials, that was my third tip. The fourth is, oh no, splurge if you can, sorry, that was my third tip. Um, the fourth is to aim for accessories. You know I'm a big accessories person. I really feel passionately about accessories. I think that they can elevate every outfit and you can have a wardrobe of basics and add accessories and you will look cute. But the reverse is not always true, right? You can't have a wardrobe of funky things and have no accessories and still be stylish. Anyway, got off on a tangent there, but really accessories are a great thing to stock up on when they're on sale. So jewelry, sunglasses, scarves, um, and of course, shoes and bags. So shoes and bags are one of the things that we get the most mileage out of in our wardrobe. Shoes, bags, jewelry, you can wear them every single day and no one cares, as opposed to a blouse with a fun print on it. You wear it once, everyone's gonna remember it when you wear it the next time. Does that mean you shouldn't buy the blouse? No, but it does mean that you should think about what you're going to spend on the blouse versus what you're going to spend on those workhorse pieces that you that you wear every single day. So my rule of thumb used to be, um, whatever you're currently spending on shoes, spend, and he hear me out for a second, spend three to five times that amount. So I really think that shoes are, the kind of thing that we can and should invest in. That doesn't mean that every pair of shoes is gonna be an investment. You've seen my steals in this channel when I did my shopping haul recently, but if you're looking at a pair of shoes that you're gonna wear a lot and for a long time, like maybe a pair of black booties or a pair of neutral pumps or a pair of neutral flats, and you know that, that you're gonna be reaching for those over and over and over again, save your pennies and don't buy so many less expensive shoes and instead, Whatever you would typically spend on three pairs of less expensive shoes, save it up and buy one pair of amazing shoes. And you won't regret it because you'll wear them over and over and over again. So accessories are really, I would say, after you shop your list, then go to accessories and then go to essentials in that order. Because if you do that, you're going to find that you have pieces that you can wear all season long and you will not have any regret if you've bought an amazing pair of shoes or a great pair of earrings or something that you wear over and over again, okay? The next is avoid sticker shock. And by that, I mean a lot of times we're tempted to buy things on sale just because they're on sale. And so I want you to avoid shopping for things based on how much they've taken off. So some websites have filters like, you know, 50% off, 60% off. It can be tempting to go to the 90% off section and buy something 
crazy just because it's 90% off, right? We're like, ooh, that's such a good deal. Like, I have to have that. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And if I don't buy this, you know, Gucci uh, polka dotted uh, bra, I'll never be, you know, whatever. I'll never, I'll never see it at this price again. Yeah, but do you really need or want a Gucci polka dotted bra? Is that something that's ever been on your radar before? Is it something you would have ever considered buying if it wasn't on ridiculous sale? So that's, you know, it's it's the lure of sales, and we can be like, oh, I found this, and it's an amazing deal, without asking ourselves if it's amazing for us, if it works for our lifestyle or our wardrobe, or if it's something that we need and really want and will truly use. So you don't want to buy things just because they're very, very, very well priced. You want to you want to ask yourself, like, if this was full price, or if it was even. Not as on, not on as much sale as it is right now. Is it something I would consider buying? And if the answer is no, then you need to you need to pass it, pa- you know, pass it up. Um, if you would absolutely buy it at full price, provided you could afford it, if you would absolutely buy it at full price, then that's an item that that's a that's a steal that you found that really be- that should go home with you. But if it's something that you know you would never have considered if it wasn't on a crazy sale you may want to think twice about buying it. So avoid sticker shock or sticker sticker temptation. I don't know. Okay, the last one is don't have FOMO. And I said what FOMO was earlier, if you don't know, fear of missing out, but this is not the last sale that you'll ever see in your entire life. It's not your last opportunity to ever go shopping ever, ever, ever again. Um, there are gonna be other things on sale in the future. There are lots of great sales coming up all fall and winter along. We know there are gonna be a lot of great sales right now because unfortunately, you know, with everything going on in the world, we're seeing things, sales that I've never seen before and brands that don't typically go on sale. So there are a lot of sales and there are going to be a lot more opportunities for you to get a great deal on whatever it is you're looking for. So if you don't get everything now, or if you decide you want, this isn't a good time in July for you to be shopping, um, or sorry, August, oh my gosh, can't keep up with my months. Um, if you decide August is just not a great time for you to be shopping, then skip shopping in August shop in October instead. There will be sales. There'll be different sales, but there will still be sales. There will always be a sale. So don't feel like I need to get everything I need to get for fall immediately. Really look at what you've got coming up on your calendar. If you have anything coming up on your calendar and think about what you want, what you need, what you'll truly get a lot of use out of and what you'll love having and maybe what will give you a little boost over the next few months because let's face it, we could all use a little boost right now. So buy something pretty, buy something that makes you happy, buy something luxurious that you get a great deal on, Um, buy something you'll use over and over again, treat yourself if you can and don't if you can't because there will be future sales and we'll talk about those when they come up. So I have created a Nordstrom anniversary sale catalog. It has my picks for the sale. Um, they are by no means, it's 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 not exhaustive. I haven't picked everything in the sale that I think is amazing. And not everything on the list is for everybody or my catalog is for everybody. But if you're looking for specific items, this could be a good way to help you kind of filter what's um, what can be an overwhelming amount of items and um, go for the things that are really going to serve you best. So I hope that was helpful. I I love sales. I do love sales. And I know the temptations all too well. So the, these are all not meant to be judgmental. They're based on years of getting it wrong before I started getting it right. So I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Are you shopping at Nordstrom anniversary sale? What are you looking for? What do you want me to add to the catalog for you? As always, I want to be sure to mention my Ageless Style program because it is the best group and the happiest, most amazing fashion community. I'm blessed by the women in that community every single day. And I'm so thankful that we all have something uplifting to do and to look forward to during this time. So if you are interested in the Ageless Style program, just go to styleconfidenceclub.com and check it out. And um, we would love to have you join us. So um, as always, thank you. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, the subscription button if you haven't subscribed already, and the notification bell, which lets you know when I go live with new videos or when I upload new videos. So thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.